Hey guys, what's going on? Echo115Gaming coming back for the third time for the kidnap prank in the Battlefield 4 trolling series. Now, what we got here is a prank involving a transport helicopter. This is all you need in this prank. It's simple, yet very creative and very annoying. Now, what you have to do is just stay around your deployment flying around in this transpo, and you need to take it back to the back of the map where the vehicles can go, but infantry cannot go. See right now I'm flying in the back and my teammate probably wants to get out right about now but that's too bad for him because if he gets out he's gonna die for being out of bounds too long. So I keep on flying and flying and flying until I'm in the way back of the gold mode railway. Back here nobody's gonna see you. Make sure to go back as far as you can so you don't get hit by enemy jets, AA vehicles, etc. This is between you and the other players. All you do is park your chopper right down here and you wait. You just wait. Look at him, he's staring at me right now. He, he wants me to leave, he wants to leave badly. But there's nothing you can do about it. The only way out is if he redeploys. So he's stuck here for good. He can shoot at you, he can stare at you, you can you can camp there the entire match. And if the enemy is, well not the enemy, if your teammate is really persistent, you can just, I don't know, go to the bathroom, watch a movie, do what you want. If you really want to annoy your teammates that bad, this is the way to do it if you have a lot of patience. It's kind of fun to watch, and they'll go nuts, they're like a rat in a cage, they'll start shooting their gun everywhere, calling for help. They'll start uh, taking up the uh, little feed in the top left corner, telling you to get out and fill it with negatives and whatnot. It's fun. It's fun to watch. See, look at him. He's just he's just going all out on that mini gun. He's going ham on that thing, thinking he's going to get out that way. But there is no escape from the wrath of the troll. There's no way out of this, man. You can shoot all you want. They can do whatever they want. They're never going to get out. The best part about this prank is any conquest map with a transport helicopter, this will work on. See, he gave up and he decided to redeploy. I decided to take this gag over to um, Rogue Transmission. This was a good one for me. After a little bit, little bit of waiting, I had a transport chopper ready. And right when I get in, I had some squad mates spawn in soon after. So you just wait sit there, look around, do whatever, try not to get shot. And here we go, we have our first victim. So we so we fly around and we turn right back and take him back to where he's never gonna come back. We've crossed over into a vehicle only area so this is a point of no return, there's no getting out for this guy. He's stuck with me until he redeploys. Or the end of the match if he really wants it to come to that. On this map, that little patch of trees down there, that is the mark of the border of the map. Just go right on ahead, park your chopper down there, and you're all set. Out of all trolling methods, this is probably the easiest one to do. It doesn't really take any skill, any effort. As long as you can fly a helicopter, you are all set. So you just wait here. Only downside is these Russian choppers. You can't see the... Uh, teammates in the first person perspective very well so you just can't stare at them while they shoot you in the face. You watch them switch seats frantically looking for any way out of this but he just takes the easy way out. And look at this, there's a friend. It always made me wonder when this happened when I was making this clip. Why would you spawn on a chopper sitting there seeming like the players away from keyboard at the end of the map? Just, just what made him think it was a good idea to spawn back here? Maybe he really wanted to see what was going on, because why would someone be parking a helicopter back there? Up, uh, see, here comes the feed, loaded with people telling me to move. But that's not gonna happen. Just gonna keep sitting and waiting them out. See me, I don't care, these people actually want to play the game, so... Chances are, they're going to end up redeploying on me. And the best part is when they get out like that guy made the mistake of doing, you hover well, maybe 10 feet above them, you watch them shoot at your helicopter, all frustrated. 
then you just watch him drop. And since that teammate saw what just happened, he knows exactly what is up. He knows what I'm up to. So he's his best bet is probably just to redeploy because he knows there's no other way out of this thing. So I just keep sitting and waiting, sitting and waiting. Maybe go up and down a bit. And look at this. I don't understand this. That same guy. The same guy that just died from being in the back for too long came back and spawned in my helicopter again. Now, just, just why would you go back in there? You're just making this easy for me. Why would you go back in there and give yourself another death if you know that all I'm going to do is just wait back there for you to die? You think I'm going to change my mind and start playing all of a sudden? Just, I don't understand some players. See, he's... <laughs> See, like, he's trying to run back. He thinks he's going to make it. But unfortunately, that doesn't work out for him. So we fly on back over and we get ready to capture some more victims for this prank. So here we are back at the deployment and now I'm just buzzing around pretending I'm just taking off getting ready to take some teammates to the objective so we can win this game and turn the tides in battle. But I'm the only one who knows that's not going to happen. So I'm still hovering over A, didn't get any passengers, because there's, I don't know, four or five of them that know what I'm up to. <laughs> they go poking out a bit further, not a, not a smart decision, bunch of missile jockeys over there shooting at me. I'll have to turn around. And fortunately when I turn around, I got this guy right here in the gunner's seat, and he is ready to become my next victim, so I just take him back to that spot. That special little area where my teammates go and never return. Take it back here. Park on down on the side of the road. You're done. See, this is a really fun map to do it on. You have a wide space of road. Jets aren't likely to see you back here because who the heck would want to look down there for vehicles? Now this is when I almost get hit by those guys with the missiles. About to go down. And right about at that moment when I fly here, I get two people seem to be in the same clan because of their matching names. In this situation, one of them is smart enough to jump out, but the other one, his brother over there, is not. He ends up becoming my victim. So he's probably chattering on the mic with his friend in party chat saying that some scumbag is taking me to the back of the map doing god knows what. I just wish I can hear this conversation off to the side while this is happening, but I didn't get any mic feedback out of them. They're not in my squad. But anyway, I just did my thing and parked there and just watched my teammates scramble in frustration. And sure enough... He just sat there too, still waiting, looking for a way out, maybe his buddy can save him. That's probably his only chance. But in this situation, no one really gets saved out of that. Occasionally I have had people run out and throw C4 on my chopper or shoot rocket launchers at me, but this guy's just shooting bullets at me and that is not going to do anything. And down he goes. So here I am back again. I get this guy again. He jumps out right away. He knows what's going to happen if he jumps in with me. But I get another driver spawn bonus. I have two people, but unfortunately my poor flying skills led me to crash and kill all three of us. I may not have been able to land in the back, but hey, at least I took them down right away. Almost like a spawn kill. Now, once I get my hands on another chopper, I proceed to pull my prank off again. You know, I do my thing, I take off from, from my deployment, and I don't go too far, hoping that I can get some uh, passengers that want to ride over. Just do my thing. And like I was about to say before that missile attack, you can do this on any map, any conquest map, or any large game mode that has transport choppers. And I choose the transport chopper because this helicopter allows other squads to spawn in there. Anybody can do it. 
and they're not expecting something like this. So when they see you turning around, it's usually too late for them to jump out because you're so close to the boundary since you're in your deployment that there's nothing they can do about it. The best maps to do this are on most second assault maps. Try it on Caspian, Firestorm, uh, pretty sure Oman has this available. Most base maps, as long as it's not anything like Locker or Metro, obviously. So feel free to give it a shot. It's really funny. It's just really entertaining to watch them scramble like this. And if you really want to be a jerk and you have a few friends playing online, just give it a shot. See what they say. These guys, unfortunately, aren't having a good time like the rest of the people I pranked. They are frantically shooting their miniguns, switching seats, looking for a way out. There is nothing you can do to avoid the situation. Even shooting the ground. Pretty angry at me. I'm surprised I didn't get any hate mail over PSN for what I've been doing for the entire match. I'm pretty sure this is not a default Battlefield 4 server, and I'm surprised the admin hasn't kicked me. He must not have been on. So I keep watching, and both of them get out. Both get out, and I guess he got out because he thought that a grenade launcher would be enough to tip a chopper, but it obviously isn't. Back again at home base. And you know what's going to happen next. I take another, and I take him on back to the base. Just take him to that little clearing by the bushes. Yeah, he's shooting around. He's shooting the ground like, what the heck? Where are you going? Why are you going this way? Why aren't you going the other way? That's the other part. The trip back there confuses the heck out of your teammates. They're wondering, why the heck are you flying back there? And when they finally realize what's happening, they get pretty mad at you. In the past, when I've done this prank before this video, I've gotten some pretty nasty messages from people. People get pretty mad when I pull this off on them, but who wouldn't, to tell you the truth? I mean, if that were me sitting in there, I'd just be like, really? I'd have, have another death in my stats because you just felt like pranking me. But that's the whole point of trolling, ladies and gentlemen. Piss them off any way possible, and the best way to piss your teammates off is to kill them. course I got two in here I think the best I've ever had the best I've ever had was when I had a full helicopter at the beginning of the game I call that a full house if you can get a full house then you're golden it's just one big madhouse of guns and mini guns shooting in the back of your chopper while you're just sitting there aimlessly looking around or you're turning around staring at them while they're shooting you in the face it's pretty funny to watch again so uh, give it a shot. Pretty sure you'll enjoy this one. This is one of my favorite pranks out of all the ones that I like to pull on Battlefield. It's one of my favorite trolls. And I hover above this guy's head. Make sure he doesn't have any rocket launchers so he can't shoot me. And there he goes. He explodes in midair and he's done. Now this guy, he sticks it out till the end of the game. It's almost over, but I'm not going to record all that. So I just want to say thanks again for watching and sticking with the series. I really hope you found this one entertaining. I mean, this is my favorite. I hope it becomes your favorites too. So like, subscribe, leave a comment, share this with your friends. And if you haven't checked out my channel already, just give my videos a look and check out my previous episodes. They're pretty good. It'll give you some more ideas to inspire you to troll like a noob, just like your boy Echo 115. And as always, I am always open to suggestions. I want to hear what you have to say about my channel, any ideas you might have, any games you want me to play. I have just about every PS4 popular release. I am ready to play them and review any aspect of them. So, once again, thanks for watching. Echo 115 is out, and I will see you guys next time.